come close Lay next to me song for being you know from city and color but hey let's learn it um hi everybody i'm gavin and this is my guitar and you're watching my youtube channel because you don't know that i'm terrible yet so thanks for uh, <laughs> you're gone now okay cool um we are looking at weightless by city and color came out in 2011 on the album little hell um i've had the pleasure of seeing these guys live at the was it the paramount i think it was the paramount up in seattle i believe yeah it was, I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure. Um, I've also had the uh, pleasure of covering this as well a few times in, a, in an old, old band I was in. And um, if you guys are watching that, you know, it's still on the, uh, okay, that was, <laughs> you're not gonna get it if you don't fucking know. Um, and uh, so yeah, we are looking at Weightless by Sitting Color. There's two parts to this. Uh, well, I guess three for counting our intro. So let's just jump on into this. So our intro. Uh, pretty much is the verse progression. It's just slowed down a lot. Um, it starts off with the C, and then we slide into a D minor. And the way that I do this is I strum down on the C, and then slide in the D minor, and then the upstroke on the D minor for me. So, and then I go to an F chord. So. And then, so do that twice, I believe. Come close, lay next to me. And then, yeah, so I do it twice. And then the very ending of the intro is this G11 chord, which, depending on how you wanna do this, there's a lot of different ways. Essentially what you are trying to do, so if we have a G bar chord, or, I guess you can even do this with an open chord. Um, we'll go over the bar chord and I'll show you the open chord version. What you're trying to do is play the fifth fret on that G string and that is what makes this a, an 11 or a suspended four. And then go back to a G major chord. Um, if you're doing this as an open G, uh, what you wanna do is put your pointer finger, make it you know an open G chord, and then point your finger on the first fret of the B, and then you're gonna pull it off. And that is your 11, or a suspended four, to a G open chord. So, let's see. Mess up a little bit in there, but oh well. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that is our intro. So now our uh, verse is pretty much that exact same thing, but it's just quicker now. They do it three times, so. They don't do the G11 on this, on the verse, by the way, either. So that's the main difference, besides the picked up tempo. Actually, that's a lot more important. Um, so yeah, it's once again, just going from a C, sliding to that D minor, and then F, doing that three times. from a C bar chord into a D minor is really difficult. Another thing that you can do is bar the fifth fret on the D string down, so D, G, B, and E, and you strum that, and then with your other three fingers here, you make a little A minor shape. And you're just gonna hammer down that A minor shape. So strum down on that bar first. And then, like I said, hammer down that A minor.
if that's any easier for you. Hopefully it is. Um, and so now we get to the chorus, which is kind of the last section. There's a solo in here. I just stick to go on D minor for it, D minor pentatonic, you're good to go. Um, even though it's really not in the key of D minor, you know, it's, it's got an F major and a G major. It's actually in the key of C because that's a four to a five. And so really it's kind of more like a D Dorian thing. But anyways, we're uh, just stick to a D minor. You're fine unless you want to get real fancy. Um, so now our chorus here is going to go D minor, A minor, F. And it's pretty quick, right? One, two, three, and four, and, and then we do the second part. So first part again, D minor, A minor, F. The second part is going to go F, G, D minor. Same pattern. One on the F, two on the G, three and four on the D minor. So one, two, I was like, I don't want to do the solo, and I was like, just hit a lick, and then I was like, but we're not going to go into it, and then I was like, just fucking go for it, fuck, god. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that is the entire song. Um, it's pretty, pretty simple, right? I mean, it's four chords, we love a good four chord song. Um, yeah, that is Weightless by City and Color. Um, fun fact, the uh, lead singer's name is uh, Dallas Green. Dallas is a city, green is a color, so city and color, if you didn't know. Cool story, bro. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. That is Weightless by City and Color. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, or cool stories to talk about down below. Or, uh, you know, tell me about your new guitar. Tell me about your guitar, actually. Let me know what you play. I don't know what you play. Um, so yeah guys, thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Hope to see you guys again next week. Happy jamming.